hello collective welcome back to my channel thank you for watching as always i appreciate you all from from the bottom of my heart um so i am back with my dry humor let's go ahead and get into what in the name of source is going on here so we have someone that is removing themselves from some type of toxic situation toxic institution maybe even letting go of dark practices and things like that but i'm also getting uh the idea of someone removing themselves from toxic connections and toxic behaviors um, and actions and things like that. So if this was someone that was maybe, maybe had an addition to drinking alcohol, smoking substances and things like that or just being loose with their instrument whether it's a man or a woman they are letting go someone is going through like an awakening uh, a change right and this is a beautiful thing someone went and sought some type of advice it could have been from a practitioner a psychiatrist a, a mentor something they spoke to a wiser energy that told them that they needed to remove themselves from a situation they were partaking in and this could have had something to do with maybe interfering with someone else's life or just trying to put an end to someone else um as you can see we have um the knight of wands in the reverse position so someone initially may have wanted to come towards another energy with some type of ulterior motive like they wanted to come in cause you some type of chaos cause you some type of ending but they are no longer doing that because of the advice that they receive from someone else um the hermit could be out here as well because this person is going through an awakening so they may just be taking time to see things from a higher perspective going within instead of listening to all the jitters around them from people that possibly possibly don't even mean them any well they went within to seek higher guidance from their higher self and they are deciding not to take any action to come towards you to cause you any type of heartache someone is seeing the truth about you uh, so this means that this person could have been told a lot of lies so maybe this is like someone's family or group of friends that got together and came up with some type of malicious plan to misrepresent present another character um or for some of you maybe this person knows that you are into certain studies and things like that and they just had some type of misunderstanding of what you are studying what you are practicing it could be like this person is possibly from a religious background or and you are spiritual and maybe they told you were into dark work and things like that um and they are realizing that that is not the truth that you are someone that's actually honest and just forward moving and things like that so this person is making changes that's going to better them for some of you this could be like a soulmate you are meant to have some type of high connection uh with uh, a relationship with and for some of you this is someone you are possibly meant to work with uh, so whatever it is someone is making efforts behind the scenes to improve themselves to live a better life uh, you know when you are stuck in darkness with whatever that form of darkness is for each of you it's hard to see things from a higher perspective but because this person is making the effort to do that that is absolutely beautiful i always want to commend people for making efforts to change their path when they are on a dark path because we've all been there before so let's not be judgmental we've all been on the darker side of things and we all relapse sometimes but we have our moment of who if you try me today honey you who it right so we all have those moments right uh some people last in those moments a little longer than the rest of us some people are committed to just being in darkness because they are too afraid to do the work that's necessary to heal uh a lot uh, some people just don't want to have to face their demons whereas other of us we have made it our mission in life to heal right so we're all at different stages in life and we don't need to be you know pointing fingers until they come for us and then we got to check them right so this person now because they know the truth they are leaving something out in the cool and this is this institution or whatever connection they had they may have been in a relationship with someone extremely toxic and they are walking away from this relationship because they are seeing someone for who it is it's almost as though there was like an energy painting herself out to be something that she was not um and she's walking away from this um, and he's walking away from this from her to find something better in life and possibly just to focus on himself so he can heal before getting into something else there is a character in here like i had a dream the night not not last night but the night before there was a masculine that has been pretending um to make efforts to give something to someone so it's almost like 
someone stole something that belonged to you, like an inheritance or something of that nature, and they were supposed to give this to you, but they've been pretending like they've made efforts to give this to you, but they haven't. Someone is paying like a lawyer or a judge behind the scenes to lie and make it seem like they've been making efforts to get in contact with you. These people are not making efforts to contact you about your abundance, right? As a matter of fact, these people are paying others behind the scenes to block you from receiving some type of communication about something that belongs to you. And that's because this masculine that's of the dark wants to have what belongs to you, um, but he cannot. He's been told that he has to let go. Um, there's also a masculine that's experiencing some type of uh, bullying at work but this is because this is something he put another energy through and this is like balance being brought into this situation so it's quite a lot I, I get the feeling like it's the same person that's going through that um so there's some type of change this person is going through there's going to be a lot of laws um that this king of pentacles that i saw in my dream is going to be experiencing this person is going through a lot of losses marriage uh, uh like a divorce income loss, a lot of different things. Uh, and they may be blaming you for this, uh, even though you have nothing to do with it, but there's some type of loss a masculine energy is experiencing behind the scenes. And he may be hiding this from people, um, but it's not something he's going to be able to hide for too long because the truth will be revealed, right? So let's get back to this reading. Um, as you come here from time to time, you'll realize that I'm someone that tends to drift off. Uh, for one second, I'll be talking about the reading that I'm doing, and then I remember I had a vision about something, and I have to say it so I can get it off my chest uh, um, and off of my, off my mind. But it is what it is, right? So because this masculine has... Uh, come to realize the truth about you, about the situation, about, and about what people were doing behind the scenes. Um, he is now coming up with some type of plan on how to untrap himself because this is someone that has realized that he is trapped in something that he did not understand initially. This is, for example, someone that could have found out that they are a part of they are a part of a cult. Um, and they are now wanting to remove themselves from that cult. This could be like a celebrity for some of you. And for others of you, this could be like a company you work for or worked for in the past. But someone is wanting to free themselves from this cult. They feel trapped. Um, they feel like there's no way out. Um, they are also realizing that there is a queen of swords here that has been paying people or giving money to people behind the scenes to keep some type of secret. Uh, about an abundance, a, a union, and things like that. It's like this woman does not want two characters coming together, two energies coming together. So she's been doing things behind the scenes. This woman has been showing up in my readings in different energies, but she's very consistent with the Queen of Swords energy. So this is someone that's doing quite a lot. Um, it's like this person knows that if you come into connection or contact with what belongs to you the game is over for her there is a whole group fighting amongst themselves right because they do not want something coming to you they don't want you receiving some type of ace of pentacles um they know that this king of pentacles is losing this ace of pentacles because he was not wise with it this is someone extremely greedy this is someone that's up late at night worried about something he did to you he may have forged a document uh let's say for example you have an inheritance right um, and you are not aware of the inheritance and they go and force your name on this on the paperwork and make it seem like you sign over everything to them. Or let's say, for example, you have a timeline where you have to respond to something, right? If you do not respond to something, then it goes to someone else. Well, when the message or whatever it was was sent to you, this King of Pentacles and his minions would have interfered with that merit match message. <laughs> message we have interfered with that message from getting to you so it could look like you just chose not to respond you were not interested you were negligent and things like that so then your inheritance will go to him but this is not what's happening uh this person in this group is realizing that the tactics they've been pulling up behind the scenes has not worked your inheritance your ace of pentacles it's still coming towards you. You're still going to have access to all of these resources. You will still be the privileged lady and things like that. 
this uh, um, masculine, this king of pentacles has been working with a privileged lady behind the scenes to cause some type of illusion. And she's losing quite a lot. He's losing quite a lot. So the two of them may be extremely angry with one another. There's some type of uh, a rift that's going on between them because they are being exposed um, for what it is that they are. And the truth is being seen about them. This is a whole group collaboration. This is not just one or two people going out of their way to block you from receiving some type of abundance, right? Or receiving some type of relationship or connection, right? And this is because these people benefit uh, from you not being there because the longer away, the longer you are away, the longer they stay in power, the more they benefit because they have connections by being in this institution, this enterprise, whatever this is. Uh, the longer they are there, the more secure they are, so, so they believe. Um, but whatever plan they had to interfere with you receiving this Ace of Pentacles is not working. You are still going to receive it, right? This is something from the Most High, right? This is something that's divinely meant to be yours. And this person may have been trying to steal it. Like this group has been doing a lot of manipulation behind the scenes in order to prevent you from receiving this offer they may have tried to pay another king of pentacles to go along with this narrative that they've that they've been painting about you about how careless you are um about how much of a maybe for the word witch was about to come out so for some of you people who have said that you were a witch um uh, so they tried to pay a king of pentacles to farther this narrative about you and he refused or he may have even taken the money and decided not to do what they were asking him to do. And in that situation, what can you do? Like you can't, you can't go to the police and be like, I pay him money, you know, to do this to this person. Of course, the police is going to be like, what the heck are you, what the heck did you just say? So they can't really do anything to this King of Pentacles, right? So for, for all of you, it's a different scenario. Um, but just know that this is of pentacles is going to come towards you because this is a divine inheritance for you. This is your birthright. There's the king of pentacles that's losing his mind. He is not getting enough sleep. He is absolutely worried about losing this abundance, this uh, inheritance, uh, all of these different opportunities and things like that. Because he did not get it in the right way. This is someone that lied. This is like the a worker of darkness, right? This person has some type of heavy, dark energy on him. And this could be someone that considers himself to be like an occultist. So he does things behind closed doors. This is someone that's involved in a lot of different things. A lot of different dark energy work behind the scenes right even the people he's working with he's doing things to them behind the scenes right this person is extremely worried about losing this abundance that was never his in the first place um so he's been forced to walk away to give it away um so in my dream when i saw a king of pentacles as well he had to sign a paper and walk away and the woman that had him sign the paper made like a snide joke with him, but he didn't take it as a joke. He seemed really depressed. And this is because he realized that the truth had come out or came out about what he had been doing behind the scenes. Um, maybe someone trusted this masculine to present you with information and he kept pretending like he was actually doing what he was supposed to do but he was not this was someone blocking you the whole time but pretending like he was actually making efforts to contact you so this is someone that pretends to be something they are not uh, and they are very skilled at doing this i've met someone like this i've had a supervisor like this that's very skilled was very skilled at pretending to be something he was not. Whether other people saw it, didn't see it, I really didn't care, but I just knew he was not who he was putting himself out to be. And I think he knew as well. It's that when he saw me, he could never look me in the eye. He always had to look down. That's because he knew I was up on him, right? So this is one of those characters. Um, this is someone extremely superficial and just money focused, um, but he's being forced to walk away as well. For some of you, there is a king of pentacles in here that is going through some type of change. 
uh, letting go of some type of toxic relationship he had. So he's going through a change, right? He's finding emotional fulfillment because this is someone that has been very money focused all of his life or for a very long time. But now he's being forced to go on like this spiritual awakening to find a higher meaning in life and do, you know, more, find more beautiful things in life, find the beauty in life, I may say, instead of focusing on finances all the time and worrying about what designer things he has or what um expensive things he has wow how, how big his money his house is how big uh, uh, honey i can't even talk it's like the message is not meant to come out uh per some karmic but we're gonna get it out or uh, how big his bank account is this is how much this person has been focused on money most of their life but source is humbling someone and enabling them to see things from a higher perspective um so he's going through some type of change and some type of healing as well and that's absolutely beautiful someone is keeping distance from these people it's like they're trying to get in contact with him and he's not trying to get in contact with these people it's like stay away from me you're blocked um like he's looking at these people like they're extremely weird is that why would a whole group of people get together to do something that's ridiculous and immature off of money and things like that so someone does not want to interact with these people he's just kind of done um someone Someone here is living in a lot of fear as well. And it could be this masculine with this nine of swords above his head, having a lot of mental anxiety and things like that. This person is living in fear because of actions they took to come towards you and cause you some type of ending. There's something this person did with a queen of I mean, uh, empress in the reverse, right? So the both of these people are in balance basically, and they've been working together behind the scenes to cause you endings this emperor empress in reverse is someone that pins herself out as well to be nurturing to be kind this is one of those people that will give you a hug and if you are spiritually woke you will feel the animosity when they are leaving your presence or uh, stepping away from you you said mm, something was off about that hug that's one of those empresses. Um, but someone is losing a lot of abundance as well because of how they received this abundance, how they came about this abundance. And it was through magic, manipulation behind the scenes, paying people to take actions against another energy so that this energy could be seen in a light that's not fitting. So someone may have said that you were an empress in the reverse. But the truth is being seen about you. As you can see, we have the page of cup out here. So someone went to the extent of paying people lying on you. And this person has been lying for a long time. This is not something that just started. This could be something that has been going on for months, for weeks, for years. Um, and they've been doing this for a while and they never thought that they would get caught. Some people stole something here and they never thought it would come to the light. What's, what happens in the dark always comes to the light. I don't know when karmics are going to accept that and believe that and understand it, but what you do in the dark will always come to the light. So this is almost, uh, what I also got right now is that this is like a group of people that are into dark magic, right? And you come about, you are an empress energy. You are maybe like a, 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 a high priestess, a star sea. And these people are extremely intimidated by you. You're someone committed to your work, your life, your passion, your uh, things like that, right? They are extremely intimidated by you they realize that you are someone very abundant you tend to attract a lot of beautiful things in your life maybe someone in this group ends up being attracted to you so they come together come up with a plot come up with a scheme to tell this person that uh you are into dark magic they need to stay away from you you are dangerous you're like a menace to society and things like that so they are misrepresenting you. They're pretending like you are them and they are you. They are pretending to have this masculine or this feminine energy best interest at heart, right? But that's not the case. But the truth is, is being seen about you. There is some type of news that is coming in to, to you that's going to put you in a different light. There was some type of 
foolery that was supposed to take place where someone was supposed to come in and cause some type of illusion, make it seem like they were committed to you, wanted to invest in you and things like that. Someone has been sat down by the most high. Someone wanted to come in and give you some type of false offer. It's like also someone wanted to come in and see if you will compromise with them, right? Like let's say you receive an inheritance of a million dollars. Someone may have wanted to come in and say, hey, I know things were then start off between the two of us the right way. I know I did some wrong. I slander your name. I defamed your character. But you know, I wanted to kind of make things right between you and I. Here's a check for fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> BS, BS. I'm allergic to BS. So that's what this person wanted to do. They wanted to come in and uh. uh you know, kind of scheme you basically because they may think that you are naive, but someone is finding out or this group of people are finding out that you are not as naive as they thought. Um, people are losing their, their SHIT behind the scenes because they figure they were coming up against someone they could just take down easily, but it's not appearing that way. Okay, so this person that had this plan to come in, send you news or something like that about a false offer to uh, a scheme you, undercut you, and things like that. They're being shut down by the universe. The universe is telling them to think twice about how they ended up where they are in the predicament that they are in, right? How did you end up here? Is it because you tried to steal from someone? Is it because of all the malicious plans you, you carried out behind the scenes? Did you think that we were not going to expose the truth about you? Did you think we were not going to bring balance into this situation? Something I like to remind people is that we live in a universe that operates on logic and morale, okay? In principle, so there will always be balance brought into every situation, regardless of how small it is. The universe is very big on mor mor morality, logic, and principle. And these are people that pretend to operate on these three, three things, but they don't have it, right? These are people that are just greedy and far gone, right? So far gone. It's ridiculous. They don't know how to rationalize the things they are doing. And I always also say karmics, they don't think about the future. It's like the action you're taking now. How is it going to affect you in the future? What type of effect is it going to have on your children in the future, right? So you are affecting your lineages by doing something that's affecting you momentarily. So you're acting on impulse instead of thinking, hey, if I steal this money, I may end up in jail. Who's going to take care of my children? Uh, jail is not the best place to be. I have to worry about dropping the soap when I get there. Blah, 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 blah. They don't think that way. They just think right now, I want that. I don't want her to have it. I don't want him to have it. So I'm going to take it. So I'm going to commit a crime and get what whatever I want, right? No logic. Someone didn't take something serious. A group of people that didn't take something serious. They thought they were just fooling around. They were just going to do whatever they wanted to do. They thought this was a game. <laughs> it's not a game. It has turned serious. It has turned legal. There are legal, there's legalities going on here behind the scenes. Someone is trying to fraud the court system, right? They may be trying to pay a judge or a lawyer to lie. There's something going on here, but balance will be brought into this situation. There's someone in here that is being told to see things from a higher perspective because they are not going to be able to defeat you. They are experiencing some type of ending. This is the Queen of Cups in the reverse as well. Actually, all of these people are being shown that they are not going to succeed in this scheme they've been carrying out. It is the end for them, and they need to make better choices and move on. Uh, kind of take their laws and move on because things are just going to keep you getting worse for them with every malicious action, devious action that they take against you. There's a queen of cups here that's not having a good time. She is not having a good time. This, this is a queen of cups in the reverse. And this is someone that pretends to be a queen of cups in the upright. But she's being exposed. Something is coming to an end for her. This could be someone that was living some type of luxurious lifestyle at the detriment of another person. It's all coming to an end. This person is being humble, having to walk away. It's ridiculous what these people brought upon themselves. It's like someone wanted to come in, take action against you to get reven revenge in a situation that they initiated and you didn't even participate. This is like someone pick, uh, starting a fight with you and you're not even participating in the fight. You leave them standing there and then they get angry because 
people are looking at them weird. So now they feel embarrassed and they feel like they have to come uh, put you in your place. But it's like, uh, I didn't do anything to you, Miss Emotionally Imbalanced. Like, figure your stuff out. Stay over there. Right? So anyways, this person that is freeing themselves, um, they may have done something in the past, accepted some type of payout, uh, some type of donation from someone else. Uh, to cause you some type of like to interfere with your abundance, right? Um, and this person is no longer at, uh, accepting payouts from people or whoever was giving him this payout in order to cause you a stagnation. This person is walking away and is leaving this toxic family dynamic. Uh, so this could be people that he has known for a long time and he's choosing to walk away, right? This person went within to see some type of truth as well. And this person went within and learned that they had to face their fears and walk through that dark night of the soul's journey in order to come out on the other side. Someone wants to, uh, uh, you know, free themselves from bondage, basically, is what's going on here. There was some type of plan to come in to cause illusions and things of that nature. Have you chosen the wrong opportunity, the wrong person, the wrong partner? But people are being told to sit down, right? They need to accept what is theirs and leave yours alone, basically, right? Someone is throwing a fit behind the scenes. And I keep seeing like a feminine energy that's just pissed off, but we don't really care. That's their business to do. Um, so we have someone here as well. They may have lost passion for a relationship that they were in. So this could be like a masculine energy that lost passion for a relationship or a feminine energy because he's seen this woman for who she is. So this is someone that has been pretending to be loving, caring, kind, compassionate, and things, things like that. But this is coming up as a woman that is just financially motivated. She was just with him for finances. This could be even a feminine energy that tried to steal from him or stole from him. And he's leaving her behind. He's literally walking away from this woman because it's like he's realizing he's been living a false life. He's been in like a false relationship. He doesn't even know this woman because he has been with the representative for this entire relationship duration. Right. So he's leaving this relationship out in the cold. These people are fighting amongst themselves. They are trying to uh, uh, manipulate this masculine into staying with this woman. He's not doing it. He's standing his ground. He is distancing himself. He may have already even left these people. Do not does not want to communicate with them in any way, shape, or form. Is just protecting himself and the money that he has left because these people could have gotten quite a lot out of him. This is someone that may have been giving to these people quite a lot. Uh, so they were using him for money as well. It's like being around a group of people, even family for so long. You think they love you genuinely only to find out little by little that every single person around you is a coon. It's a clown. Um, it's just money hungry. They don't care about you genuinely. Things like that break your heart and sometimes it will nearly break you when you have those experiences. So this masculine has decided to move on. He's accepting the truth for what it is. He's no longer playing, uh, 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 He's no longer living in denial. He's accepting the truth, taking charge of his life and walking uh, through like this dark night of the souls, right? To come out a brand new person. Someone wanted him to be, to be mentally conflicted and things like that, that he would be making the wrong decisions decision if he came towards you this is like them telling him don't go to that woman you know she's a witch uh you know she does dark magic she's going to sacrifice you she's going to do this uh she's not even loving this is someone that's shallow she's a narcissist she's this and she's that and it's like the whole time it's a whole empress that they're trying to keep you away from and the reason why they're trying to keep you away from this woman is because she's someone that sees the truth um about people the situation so she's going to keep you up on game right protect you and stuff from slimes right like them right so they don't want him coming towards you empress energy whoever you are in my collective they don't want this masculine coming towards you because you see the bs for what it is and you will tell your partner what's going on and you'll just hope that they listen and make the right decision so someone here now um because he's aware of the truth he is now advocating for you uh, like he never used to before so this could have been someone that may have participated in this foolery or he never stood up for you but now he is taking action 
to stand up for you to uh, 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 valid. Uh, uh, the word is not coming to mind. He's taking actions to basically speak on your behalf, right? Uh, uh, validate you, vindicate you, whatever the word is. It's still not coming to mind. It's right on the tip of my tongue, but it's not coming out. So I guess it's not meant to come out today. But he's advocating for you basically behind the scenes. And this person is taking a lot of hits because this is a whole group of people coming up against him, trying to manipulate him and keep him stuck stuck and trapped in some type of toxicity with this other woman and with them they're all toxic right um and he's being guided to see things from a higher perspective right he's being guided to do some type of self-sacrifice basically letting go of all of them going on his own journey to find his own purpose in life and things like that uh, instead of list instead of listening to them so this person is making the right decision even though it is a hard decision this masculine or whoever this is could be overcoming some type of illness whether it's mental illness because of the things these people have put him through so some type of mental conflict that he's overcoming for some of you someone could have tried to poison this masculine of uh, for some of you he could have contracted something by laying with someone um but he's healing going through some type of healing process um he's experiencing some type of financial loss there is something where this masculine may have wanted to give you something as well but he cannot someone here as well is passing away that just came to me um so there is that and they're losing a lot of money as well while they're passing away that's kind of interesting um, but someone is going through a lot of laws, right? Um, with this masculine is coming towards you, he's experiencing a lot of laws and there's a lot of connection, finances as well, and things like that. But this person is still choosing to move forward. Um, they are letting go of all of their trickery way. This is someone that used to feel entitled to certain things in life, was a bit of a narcissist, was a bit of a of an egotistical person. Uh, just feeling like they deserve certain things even though they didn't work for it. But this person is letting go of their mindset, right? They're no longer pulling tricks to get things in life. Um, someone in here as well, he may feel mentally trapped or he feels like he's trapped in this situation with these people for some of you. And he's going to have to find his way out um, and separate himself from this empress in the reverse because this is someone that has been playing him like a tuba for however long he's been with her. Um, but there is an ending going on here between the two of them where he is taking himself out of the situation. Um, he's pulling his sword out. It's like this woman keeps trying to manipulate him into staying with her, but everything she says, he's pulling his sword out because he sees things for exactly what it is. Um, but there... This queen of swords, this woman is going through some type of nightmarish situation because this is like a nightmare come true for her. She has been pulling all these tricks behind the scenes to block this masculine from coming towards you, to block you from receiving some type of opportunity, and you are still going to receive this message, um, and you are still going to have your new beginning it's just it's crazy how committed sometimes people are to other people's lives right how committed they are to how committed they are to blocking people uh interfering with other people's lives and they don't realize the entire time they're doing that they are just accumulating karma and for these to be people that are involved in magic you would think they would know better but i guess sometimes karmics just they don't care have a good day darlings